Visionary Beauties, welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you with another she DIY for all those small rooms like mine, so you can do this yourself. Now, I'm sorry, but I lost the beginning footage of this video. It was deleted by accident, but I will insert a photo right here. And before we get started, if you haven't already, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And while you're at that, hit that alert button so you will be up to date when I upload new videos. So what you're seeing now is just basically me removing the screws with the Allen key. But if you do want the exact look, you can get these drawers at Ikea as well. And I did pick up mine in the as is section, so I only paid about $15. It's super affordable. Now right now I'm just cleaning it off to prepare for the contact paper to be adhered to the table. I already pre-measured and I'm cutting. So now I'm cutting off a piece for the side. And I use about one row for this entire project. So you see me measuring the side and let's begin putting this on. Now I chose to get this gloss contact paper because it's easier to wipe free of makeup or eyeshadow spill, anything it's easy to wipe up. Now they do come in three different ones, which is a, a gloss that I purchased. They also come in matte and a high gloss. And I realized I won't be able to put the screws in so I had to take it off and put them, go ahead and stop there and put the screws in back in. So here I am putting the screws back in before I put the contact paper down. So yeah, pretty much I took the table for nothing. Oh well. Make sure you do not over tighten because IKEA's furniture are made of press board. Here I am smoothing it out. Now I'm back to reapplying, just making sure, double checking there's no bubbles, and continue with the next process. And just keep doing that until you go all the way to the end. If you see it's a little bit left over on the edge, you wanna fold that over so it's seamless, like this. And the reason why you did it in two parts instead of just folding it over on all the entire thing is because it looks more seamless and more realistic. Keep repositioning as needed and smooth. That's the key, smooth. Take your time and smooth. And once you apply this, to the entire front portion you do if you need to you want to cut a slit on the side and then tuck the excess underneath the drawer so I actually took the drawers out and then tuck excess underneath so it seems all the way around to add more space to my vanity I decided to go to Lowe's and pick up this board so I can have more space to work with I also put more contact paper over the piece of wood that I purchased I'll leave all the information and the measurements in the description box below here I am replacing the shelf back onto the unit. And now I'm putting back the brackets back on for the shelving. You can also pick up these brackets on Amazon. I believe they were about $10. Now that is the completed look. If you want to put baskets, these baskets are purchased also at Burlington for about $8. Also the wheels were purchased at Home Depot for about $13 for four. Two are locking wheels and two are regular. As for the drawer knobs, I picked up the crown ones at Burlington as well for about $12. And as far as the other knobs, the diamond knobs, I also picked that up at Amazon for about $10 for 10 pack. And here's the finished product. You can turn it into a single person or for two. If you want to see a DIY on the mirror, let me know and I will do that as well. So this is a great DIY project for someone with such a small space like myself. You can have a vanity as well. And you can take it anywhere around the house. It fits one or two or more. You can store your makeup or whatever you want to do. And whatever your beauty needs, you can be stored in these drawers, which is absolutely perfect. Now these are the options you can use. You can use a DIY Hollywood mirror like I did, like I made. Or you can use just a plain old vanity mirror lights. This is the, but these are the options you have for your space. Now I really hope this project helped some of you guys with your small room troubles like it helped me. Let me know if you want to see more DIYs like this and I'll keep bringing them to you. All these were super affordable to make. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye.